Hello everyone, it is me, Tan Mystic, and welcome to episode 3 of Boxscape Season 1. And today we are starting off in my base with some new tools. I've upgraded to diamonds and a diamond chest plate because you know I've been doing some off-camera mining and got myself some goods. Yeah, but I honestly thought I was the richest. Also got a cow head. I honestly thought I was the richest and I must have just been going crazy because I believe someone else has 20 or so blocks of diamonds. 20? I do not have 20. <laughs> and that is a lot. Oh my god. But yeah. We have a plan for today's episode. I want to build my first shop. A shop. <laughs> it's going to be a rocket slash gunpowder shop. A gunpowder shop for now. I spent all day trying to come up with a design of like a shop kind of. And I, I can't think of one. So I'm just going to go with a rocket for now. I can always change it. I mean, I can always change it, yeah, if I come up with new ideas. I've been in a creative testing world and I've created like three different tests. <sighs> this ain't working. <laughs> but I think I'm going to head over there now and get that out of the way. It's my, it's my first job to do today. So I will head over there and see you guys there. Boop, boop. Actually, while I am at it, I'm currently actually traveling to the shopping district. I've decided to make myself a nether tunnel, or that just link that just goes straight to the shopping district uh, portal because it, it's quicker to go through the nether. And you know, I've just kind of made it a bit wider before it was tiny and took me forever to figure out because I'm horrible with like coordinates and figuring everything out. But I've just, you know, created this and then we shall see you at the shopping district. Pew pew pew. So I am here at the shopping district and we are actually doing this in a, I think it's a mesa, but the one with all the terracotta, you know. It looks like we got some shops already and I could have sworn there was one here, like there was one here, I'm telling you, there was one right here and it's gone. <laughs> I, I brought a book from there and it wasn't that one, no this one had green in it or like the blue, cyan. It's not this one, is it? Zocco Corp. Unless it's being rebuilt, or unless I'm going crazy. There was a thing, there was a shop. But what does this one sell? Oh, efficiency. Oh, cat it! Oh, wait. This actually might be the same shop. Just be. Ooh. Ooh. Oh. One diamond book. I'm coming back later. <laughs> but for now, this is my area, and I have chosen, kind of, kind of, use this, don't know how, but I've kind of brought over, also this is all the gunpowder I've gotten so far, for the shop, and I just got a few materials to build it out of. I'm just going to go with a very classic rocket design, I believe, just something simple. Nothing too crazy because I really don't have the inspiration at the moment and I'm not sure what to do. But um, we're going to start building this thing. <laughs> going to go with for now it's it's simple it kind of looks cute in a way. <laughs> because I don't have designs and I really just want to get the shop open and also on the side uh, I'm, gonna, I'm not gonna say the name because I'm gonna butcher it Ikea is going through the stats and crouches oh I'm just gonna 
making those crashes. <laughs> but I really like it, like the same, like what I've made. It's just a starting shop to be honest and you know I think I'm just gonna honestly stock it up and get it open because nothing else to do other than that. Why hello there. It's kind of been all over the place as usual but I have finished building my rocket shop I just never got to f finish recording that because I had a slight interruption yeah but right now we are actually heading over to the industrial district where I've not spoiling anything yet done some work off camera while wow, this all happened while I was on stream with Shadex this morning or this afternoon we do that every Saturday, but Sunday for me, so Saturday. <laughs> we have some new buildings going on and an Enderman chilling. But uh, first of all, these guys just, they ain't, they ain't vibing well. I mean, they're still making, oh, I thought they were making babies. Well, the first new build is just this little hut set up, and I think it's cute just to store random stuff that I chuck everywhere because I'm horrible at organizing. But the first is I've made this like permanent railway system. I think it looks cool. And then this first house, it's not really a house, but this is a zombie converty thingy. <laughs> zombie villager converter. That's right. And we have ourselves a friend and I, I got this guy first try. The first night that I tried, he was the second zombie that like kind of spawned and I had a go at. And he picked up the sword and he followed me and I actually got him in there by myself. I am proud. <laughs> I think this is a good system. They go up here. Well, that doesn't really stop them. It used to. And they fall down to the water. The zombie gets him. They glide through and then go down there, which I've made <laughs> as a waiting bay. Because this one, he's just been cured. A waiting bay to go off to wherever he goes off. Kind of like the build though. I went, I think this, I don't know how to even describe this theme, but I think it's a theme I'm going to follow through, say, for this district. And then I've made, oh, while well, we're over here, I've made two kind of automatic farms to trade with villagers because my village breeder is just not having it and not producing anything. <laughs> So I've made a manual one so I can just harvest them every once in a while. So this track, I like how it, it, I think it fits in. But anyway, it leads up here into a barn style. This is probably going to be a house barn that holds all my, that holds all my farmers. Yeah, except one that I just have to get back up here. And, you know, they just trade the casual... They've all been lowered down as well, and yes, that's what I need. I'm going to make a pumpkin and melon farm eventually, somehow. <laughs> kind of like how this looks, though. It's like a cute... Oh, it's raining. It's like a cute little barn. You know, it's just cute. And then just all my villagers chilling. That's basically all I've done, <laughs> except there's some just mild decorating. Oh, wait, did I figure something? No, I didn't. And just, you know, oh, potion brewing is another thing. I had to go on a hunt for spider eyes for the potion of weaknesses. <sighs> but that brings me on to a project that I kind of thought of in the last five minutes. <laughs> Went to a creative testing world and have an idea that Minecraft might be laggy. This, oh, my thank you. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's what Shadix left, Shadix left because he took some string. No, no, you don't have to pay for that. <laughs> but this thing is not just a creeper farm, it's also a spider farm in a way. It only produces string, it's technically wool, but you know, there's quite a bit of it. And I don't have a purpose for it at all, so I thought of making a second shop. A shop for string or wool. Probably string at the moment because this is probably not enough to make wool. Can I sleep? That's made me thinking, I think that's what I want to do. I want to build two shops. Um, okay, I'm going to put that in there. And I think, I think I know what I want to do. So the actual 
item. <laughs> Struggling with words. Ah. The actual item of the string. Oh, you can't zoom in on it. But anyway, you can kind of see it. I kind of just want to build that as like a, what's it called? Pixel art? I think it's called pixel art. I have it just behind my rocket. Because, you know, they're two shops and they kind of go together. And honestly, I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm not going to be able to fit this in one load. Oh, no. Oh, wait. All I need is this, actually. Except for chests. Um, to be honest, it's not that hard, I don't think. I say that. I'm going to start struggling. I can't even get up here. No. I think I'm going to head over to the dis shopping district now. So we are just freshly slept and I forgot we have our mascot over here. How are you doing buddy? Oh he's gonna shoot me. Ow! We have a mascot over here. The pillager raid thingy my bobby jigget spawned and I didn't want to kill that guy because he gives you the batter men and I have villages and I think they're associated with each other. So Shadix put him in a boat. So for now he's just Chilling over there. How you doing, buddy? <laughs> but also, um, check out this cool looking shop that is referred to. Oh, the rocket! It's referred to as a carrot. Um, <laughs> earlier today, it's also a rocket shop, so, um, a competition. Look at that compared to my little <laughs> pathetic rocket. Oh my, yeah. But earlier today, I was up there with a few other scapers, and <laughs> there's, there's a way to get up, you know? There's a water elevator, and there's no elevator down. <laughs> but there's this uh, pool of water you're meant to jump into. You know, so I jumped and completely missed the water, died, and spawned at spawn because somehow my bed got broken. <laughs> I, I kind of died in a really stupid way and they watched me but lucky enough that they saved my stuff thanks to them but I also I do want to build this shop I got string <laughs> I want to build it like just behind here tucked away you know it's gonna be I think I'm gonna use this area for my shop complexes I, I, I do plan on making a few at least different ones small ones at one point I want to make a flower shop because Flowers, duh. Okay, we can make some wool now. What I want to do, I'm gonna need a piece of reference off, is copy this in the small scale so it just fits behind here. Huh. I think I might have an idea. Let's get started in a first person time lapse because my camera account is really just not working with me today so <laughs> different perspective let's go so i never put that time lapse in but here is uh some clips of when i found a really cute panda and brought it home and stole it from its own environment yeah Go around the water then. Um, how do we do that? 
Grizzly bears in like forests. Cause they have polar bears. They say like grizzly bears. Wow. <laughs> I don't mind it. I think I might just add small details. Yeah, just to finish it off. I kind of like it. It's kind of, it's, it's different. To be honest, I think I'm going to leave it. Let me just see how it looks over here. You know, I don't know. I like it. I like how it, it, I don't know. <laughs> I think I'm gonna keep it for now and just have my string over here selling. Oh geez, that is a lot. <laughs> I think we're gonna go chest, chest. Okay, yeah, chest can't open under there. <laughs> I wanna make this interesting. Okay, what? Okay, yeah, get all the string. I'm gonna have to make a few trips. Just bring in the string. Okay, chest one. And I think I still have a pricing thing. One diamond per stack, yes. I think I'm gonna keep it as the price for now. I think. Okay, we'll put that in there. Put that in there. And we're going to quickly sleep and go home, get the rest of the stock and reevaluate our life choices. <laughs> okay, shall see you guys later. I repeat, we are not stopping recording. I just went through the nether portal and died. Um, that scared the life out of me. <gasps> no! I'm stuck in the river. Where's my stuff? Um, I'm just hoping 
there's a possibility <laughs> IKEA could get my stuff because I don't know where I am in the mirror. Where does Grazzy has a path that leads? Um, oh no, I'm freaking out. <laughs> that looks like a path. <laughs> I don't know where I am. Oh, okay, yes, 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 yes. Oh, I know where I am. No, I don't. Yes, I do. Wait. <gasps> my stuff! Oh, my God! Okay, thank you, Ikea, for at least offering to go and get my stuff. I didn't know. No, okay. Did it break the portal again? <laughs> no. Okay, I'm going to have to go back home and get flint and steel. Should link up, right? I hope so. Okay, well, this time we're going to see you back in my base. And hopefully this time we can get back to the shopping district. Okay, we shall see when that bridge comes. After editing this, I realized I never recorded an outro, but I wanted to say thank you for watching, subscribe if you wish, like if you wish, comment if you wish, and hopefully I shall see you guys in the next one, which is not the end dragon fight, but the next episode after that will be. Bye-bye!